going to show you how you can record Max using the new Max form. So the first thing, when you sign in into your account, you will click on Upload Max and then you will go to this page. Now, the first thing you will see is the list of courses you teach per class. If you have more classes, they will appear here with the courses you teach. So the first thing you need to do is you, may, you need to make sure that you have selected the correct term. If you were uploading the marks for the term three, make sure it's a term three which you selected or term one or term two. Now for this case, we're going to record two term three. And now the next thing I need to, to do is to make sure all the courses I teach are available to this page. Once you don't find or you miss a course, one of the course you teach, please reach to the head teacher so that they can assign you to that course within the data validation. Now, if I click on data validation, you will see the, li the list of courses that I have approved are the same courses appearing here. So it means in order to see all the courses you have, you need to do the data validation and make sure you have approved all the courses that you should be teaching on your class. Now, now that we, we have all the courses, the next thing is to record the marks. For this example, I'm going to use the Kinyaranda as an example. I'm going to add the marks on Kinyaranda. First, I'll click on Add and Edit Marks. Now, as I click here, I need to add an assessment type. Now, next thing I will do is I will click to Add Marks Assessment, and then I will choose whether I'm going to record the end of unit or the end of term. If you're recording the marks for projects or other assessment types, they will also appear here based on what you teach. Now, for this case, I'm going to record the end of unit, which I will select and confirm the marks assessment. Now, as you can see, the draft has been created for the end of unit for this marks. Now, the next thing I need to do is to click on add edit marks. Now, if I click on add edit marks, I will go to the form where I will see all the list of a student within this class. First thing, please ensure that all the students in your class are listed here. If you miss one of the students or you find a student who, who is not supposed to be on this list, please reach to the head teacher so that they can assist you using the data validation. Now that I know that the max limit is out of 80%, as you can see here, the next thing I will do is to start to record the max. I'm going to type random numbers like max. As you can see, the more I record the max, the more I will, will you will see this progress bar pro proceeding. Now, another thing you need to see is now that the limit is 80, I cannot, it's really impossible to record the max, which is above 80. For example, if I try to record 90 and the system will also notify me that I cannot, I cannot record this max because it's beyond the limit. And now if I click away, you will see that that record will not be recorded. Now I can continue to record the max. Now, as you can see, the system is saving the max on my computer, not on the server which means whenever I'm done recording the max, I, I will need to save the max, but I can keep writing, recording the max. Now the max you see here is not yet on Camis, but it's on your computer. This will help you to have all, to be able to record the max without any disturb. You will be able to record all the max step by step without having network issues because on this phase you don't need the network or internet accessibility once you reach this page now for example if i try to reload the page you will see all the marks are still there all the marks will stay until i record i click on save or i close the form I'm going to continue record more marks now, for the case of the student who don't have a max, who didn't attend the exam or the assessment, now it's not necessary to jump 
the student as it used to happen on the, the old Macs. Now, if you click on these three dots, you will see that it's possible now to add the reason why the, the Mac is not present. For example, if I click on illness, which means the student was sick by the time of the exams or the assessment, the system will record that the student doesn't have a Mac because they were ill. So I'm going to continue to record the max. Again, as you see, if I try again to record more than the limit, the system will tell me that it is not possible. So now, as you can see, the more I'm recording, the more this graph is completing. Now, if I get here, I can choose to save the max that I have recorded. As you can see, I already have 44 changes that I have made on my computer that I need to send to Kamis. If I click save, the max will be saved on Kamis, which means now if I go to another computer, the max, I will find that max to that computer. Now, the last step we need to do before we finish the process of recording the max is we need to submit the max. But if I try to submit the max, you will see that the system is going to require me to record all the max, which means all 50 students need to have the record recorded. Now, this means if there's one of the students who doesn't have the max, you need to add a reason or add the max. So I'm going to record the max for all the remaining students. And now as I'm done, I can click save and I can submit the max. Now that I have recorded all 50 records to this student, and you can see I only have two students with reasons, which means who don't have max, but who didn't attend the assessments. So the last step to this is to click on approve end of unit max. Now, after clicking this, it means I am done. I have completed the process of recording the max. Now, if I close here, you're going to see if I refresh that we have the end of unit in green, which means it has been submitted. Now, if I click on the same Kinyaranda, I will see the record that I have recorded. It means the end of unit has been recorded. If I want to add the end of time, I will also again click on add max assessment and click on end of term and confirm max. Now, as you can see, if I click on this draft end of term to add this max, it will first show me the task. Since this is the end of term, it will show me the list of tasks that we do in this course, because in Kinyaranda in end of term, we need to record the max on all the tasks. Now, if I click continue to form, you will see I will also be presented to the same form, but with more tasks. Now, here again, I can still record the max. As you can see, as I'm recording, the max are being calculated as I'm, I'm recording on the points on the task. This also works the same as the previous process we were doing. If you don't have the Kinyaranda, you will, you will not need to see this form. All this form will stay the same. Now I can click save, I can close, and then you can see I have the end of term, which is still a draft. At this point, you can go to, the, to another computer and continue the process of recording the max. Until you're done, you will be able to submit the max and then the system will require you to fill all this all the marks for the for the students now we've seen how you can record the marks for a new student we've also seen how you can create submit the marks thank you